Hey everybody, I'm Eddie the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. I sure appreciate you being here. Hey, make sure you are subscribing to this channel. A uh, big reason for doing that is we're doing a giveaway here today and we're doing giveaways, trying to remember to do them every single month, but it's hard. Uh, so today uh, we are doing, it's the last day for doing the giveaway on this fossil watch. We're doing a Kenworth Fossil Watch giveaway right here. So make sure you are subscribing to the channel here. And there's a few other steps you have to do to make sure that you're in on this draw. So in order to do that, you need to follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and you gotta jump onto Inland Kenworth's Facebook and Instagram page as well. So if you're subscribed on all those different platforms, you're entered to win this watch. It's worth uh, about 250, 300 bucks. So it's worth the, worth the effort to go through that. So make sure you do that. Uh, but that's not why you're here today. Well, maybe you are, but uh, today what we're doing is we're taking a look at a beautiful W9. It's W9 day. So I got my W9 sweater on, my hoodie, my W9 t-shirt on, and uh, we're doing a W9 review. So without further ado, let's head outside. We're literally cold and windy and let's check it out. It's cold. Ah, winter. It's not done. I thought it was. I'm putting my hoodie on. Ah, there we go. Okay, we're outside now. We're gonna uh, go take a peek at this truck and uh, see what this is all about. <laughs> all right. So this is one of three. I've already shown uh, the one Jade truck to you here a few weeks back. And uh, this one here is the number two. Number three is coming shortly at you. Excited to see what that one's gonna turn out. But this one here, I'm gonna call this one Hot Rod. It is so cool looking. I love the orange frame. It just looks so sick. Legendary green is the color. And I'm sorry, I was trying to get a better location for the shoot on this, make an epic video. And I think it'll still be good, but uh, the roads are just so sloppy. Yesterday when I picked it up from the cleanup shop, it was raining. And so I just tucked it in the back here and doing a quick video this morning before everything starts melting again. But uh, anyhow, so let's uh, go through this truck. I'll show you what it's all about. Uh, 260 wheelbase. It was a stock truck that I was come, having come in. We quickly changed the colors to what uh, Larry at Jade wanted. And I'm so pleased with how this turned out. Uh, 
It's a 260 wheelbase, like I said. It's a 72 inch aero cab flat top uh, sleeper and the W9L model. Now there's some really cool shift products that are put on here. I'll uh, kind of go over what, what they did. Uh, and then I'll talk about uh, some of the things that I did when I ordered it. So uh, I ordered it with a factory Texas bumper. Uh, the guys at Shift put on the watermelons in the corner of the bumper. I really like that, that's cool. Right in the factory bumper, it's, it's kind of neat how you can just integrate that. Uh, up on the fender here, we have the turn signal, the Kenworth billet light uh, turn signal the standard LED with the red on the back and the amber on the front. And that matches up with the three LED standard on the air cleaner lights. And this is something that I really am uh, thinking is cool. This is a new product that Shift is coming out, has come out with is a single uh, rear facing watermelon light. And it's got amber on the front. It's got the red on the back and it's just, kind of mounts to this piece here and there you go. So really neat uh, option there and it, it kind of lines up nice, kind of lines everything up and, and uh, it'll light it up really good. Uh, also had the shift turn signal light put on here as well. So uh, just, just dressed in watermelons. <laughs> uh, up on the visor there, that is the reverse bow tie that shift products has designed and made. So that's uh, what we got there. And uh, as far as the striping on here, this was uh, one of Larry's surprises for me. I didn't know what it was gonna look like. Uh, I did tease you guys on Instagram with this truck here a few times, but uh, here it is. So those are vinyled on. Uh, we couldn't get a three color paint from the factory at the time. So uh, uh, love it, just looks super good. Okay, uh, getting to the truck here. Front end was lowered, so it has a lower stance there. So a really nice, uh, nice look to that. We ordered it with the painted panel right here, not the stainless, and we left the Kenworth bug uh, on the hood as well. Kept the panel here underneath the cab painted, not stainless, so you get the nice clean lines right across and then the DPF battery box uh, are matching on both sides, the polished end caps with the polished uh, cover. Uh, now on this side here, we got the def tank. That's the large def tank. With, pull that wind, it is nasty. Uh, we got the def cover with the uh, polish there. And then Rob at Big Truck Detail did a fantastic job just polishing these up real, real nice. Uh, probably a four stage uh, polish process to this to get that mirror finish and make it pop really good. So fuel tanks, of course, uh, lined up perfectly on the back here, straps lined up, and then the gap here and the gap here, that lined up as well. So I, I really love how, it's taken me a while, but I, I totally dialed in how to get the straps to lay out perfectly, symmetrical on each side, and then across a uh, nice, uh, nice setup that way too. So, so there you go. Uh, as far as uh, on the back of the bunk here, we have the rear work lights that have been changed out to the uh, clearance lights. So that the watermelons, the standard LED, the amber right there. And then uh, I order it without any sort of frame access. Uh, so there's no step. There's no grab handle and there's no deck plate. So this deck plate was added in after the fact and uh, they installed this uh, in-frame toolbox. So kind of a neat uh, system here. You can walk on this and then you can use it for, for keeping your stuff in there as well. So all the airlines and glad hands are all set up right on here. And then uh, with the Tektran uh, wrap around it as well. So uh, there you go. Got the quick couplers right here for the for their trailer for when they're pumping off. Uh, as far as the fenders here, this is a, a really sweet design. This is a shift product fender, and I'm just gonna take a quick peek here. Yeah, this is their newly redesigned fender. So, shift products has come out with a brand new design for for their fenders, uh, their fiberglass fenders. They have a one piece a full one piece design. 
and then they have the half fender, which is basically cut down the middle. So the previous design that they had, it was a one piece, or it was a, a full fender, but it was two half fenders kind of butted up against each other. So uh, those fenders are actually uh, one solid piece now when you order the full, full fenders. And I believe it is on some of the Jade trucks uh, in their fleet. So go check them out on their Instagram page and you can see what, uh, what those are all about. It's really nice because it's a blind mount. Uh, you got this bracket underneath here and a splash guard right here as well. And then uh, with, with the ribs in it too, I might add, just for added strength. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, you can see the ribs there. And then blind mount on the front here. Now it's all bubbly here because it's a rock guard just to keep the paint on it good. It's, it's uh, functional at the same time, yet beautiful. And then uh, that mounts really hard to see but there you go hope, hope that works so really nice design I'm really pleased with how how those turned out and obviously those are painted legendary green to match the truck and it just brings it all together it just looks super good oh I forgot to mention here we got the Lincoln chrome uh, straight cut flat tops on the uh, the exhaust pipes there looking really sharp and then as far as the Suspension, we got the AG400L suspension, so that is the low air leaf suspension. Uh, Yoast fifth wheel, and then we got the aluminum uh, rims that are the mirror polish. Uh, also, we put on the top hats. Uh, the guys there, uh, Jade, put the top hat, moons and nut covers over top. Really like how that just closes everything in and, and keeps it nice and clean. Rear mud flap hangers with the stainless weights on the bottom. Really nice look to that, I like that. And then as far as the rear ends, uh, these are on Super 40s. Uh, I have to double check the ratio, but uh, I'll tell you that here in a bit. Along with the weight of the truck, because I know a lot of people, a lot of people like to know that. Okay, uh, down here we got the disc brakes. So it is disc brakes on this truck all the way around. And uh, we got the larger fuel tank on this side. And again, like I said, uh, straps, tanks line up, the gaps on the front and back match as well. We do get a little bit of a gap in there, but I think that's that's doable. Uh, I think it's worth it to have everything line up at the back personally, that's just my thoughts. Uh, something else that we have too here, we have the Arctic Fox fuel tank heaters. So that's just uh, coolant lines just to heat the fuel tanks. Uh, in this kind of climate, we need it up here. <laughs> Okay, uh, talk about the air cleaners. We got the 15 inch air cleaners with the bolts mounted on the inside. And uh, I'm gonna open up the hood here and show you what we got going on. Oh man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be froze. There we go. So this is a 565 Cummins X15. Not really sure what the paint is doing here, but anyways. Oh well, it is, it is what it is. I know I'm gonna get comments about the paint on here, so I see it. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, so what we got going on under here, I'll just show you guys a few quick things. It's a 565. 1850 Torque X15 Performance Series engine. And uh, we have the fuel water separator here. It is the Davco 382. I put the battery boosting terminals here, the remote lube terminal there. It comes with the air chuck for the rapid air fill. And then uh, there is the hood, fender hood hinge reinforcement right down there, which lines up with these little nubbies there. Now up here, uh, these fender mud flaps have been changed out actually. Uh, so this is something that the guys at Jade do. Just helps keep the side and the fuel tanks clean. Uh, they actually wrap this, uh, this mud flap kind of around the fender here. And I'll show you what that looks like when I close up the hood here again. So that's kind of a different, uh, different setup, but I, I do like it. It's very functional. Uh, okay, what else here? Oh yeah, uh, right here I like to order these here. 
This is a little work light, a trouble light for underneath the, the hood. And you can get that on, when you order it, you get it on both sides. Uh, and like I said, disc brakes on this truck as well. So looking around the other side here quickly. We have uh, your turbo, hot side of the engine here, of course. And then uh, HVAC system is up there. And then here's that other light that I was talking about. This is all to do with the, uh, the uh, inline heat for the trailer uh, and, and the specifics to the application that uh, J Transport operates. So I'm gonna close up the hood and uh, go warm up inside the cab and finish off this tour. Okay, so here we are inside the truck. Uh, we have looked at this interior many, many times, uh, but it's always a pleasure to bring it to you guys. So uh, looking across the dash, obviously I like to order it with the full gauge package. Uh, so all of the gauges are, are uh, basically filling every spot. Same thing with the switches. We got all the switches kind of running across there as well. Uh, same thing over here. So we got your interior lights, engine fan, air traction control. Here's the rear bunk lights. I'll get a couple pictures of those. And uh, while they're on, auxiliary light switch there, turn on all the air cleaner lights. You can kind of see the lights kind of shining down there. And then uh, DPF, PTO, beacon pre-wire switch. It's nothing's hooked up to that. Air slide for the fifth wheel, hazards, Jake brakes, cruise control, air suspension dump, uh, and then your full four-way diff locks on here. Now, uh, talking about the ratio and so forth and the weight of the truck, this truck weighs 8,496 kilograms. And the rear axle ratio, 342s, 342s on 11R225 rubber. So there we go. Uh, okay, uh, so I'm also gonna just turn on the, the lights on the outside here just for some pictures. Uh, we got your clearance lights. I'll leave the headlights off. Uh, trailer marker lights uh, for the clearance lights on the trailer as well. And then uh, there is the AM FM Sirius XM radio. Uh, we do the black dash, which uh, gets you the black on it would be standard gray, but if you get the black dash, you get the black dash for the glove box, this dash area here, and that area as well. Otherwise, that would be like a dark gray, similar to this color right down there. It is the diamond VIT interior, so you can see the wood grain dash on there. And then uh, on this one here, we did the black, uh, black uh, trim panels. So really like the way that that, that turned out. Looks really sharp. I'll just walk into the bunk here. And while I'm doing that, I will I will uh, show you the seats. So these are the Sears ultra leather seats. So these are the black leather seats, the wider base, and then it has these flip out of the way style armrests. So it's uh, kind of a nice system to get a little bit more space in between the seats. Down below here, here are the additional um, cabinets, drawers, not standard. You have to request them when you're ordering a truck. Okay, uh, we got your cabinet right over here. This is nice and deep. And then you got a hanger up top here. We got storage up above here, as well all the way across the back wall here. Uh, something that uh, shift product sells is these auto socks so uh, this is kind of a substitute for chains um, now i know some places recognize them some places don't in jurisdictions but uh, if you want to get yourself unstuck without having the hassle of big heavy chains these auto socks are a great option so you can find those at shift products as far as on the back wall here we have the uh, alarm clock, we have the back panel lights, uh, adjustment for the heater controls on the back, and then there's the S-bar control down at the bottom right there. Little cuppy holder, adjustable. And then on this side here, here's the fridge. And then uh, we have another cabinet in the back here. And then this flips down for a table. And then you got your TV uh, straps right there. And then, like I said, uh, we have lots of storage shelves on the back wall here as well. 
uh, Diamond VIT all the way across the back. And uh, there, there we have it. <laughs> all right, so that's it for this week's video. It's good to be back. Had a great holiday. Well, actually, I don't know if I did or didn't because uh, I'm recording day before I leave for a week holiday. But uh, it's, uh, it's great to bring this truck to you guys anyway. So, hey, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel yet, I'd sure appreciate it if you did that. And like I have been saying for the last couple of weeks, uh, you will be entered to win this fossil watch and the announcement will be made tomorrow. I will be doing a, uh, a video announcement to give away this fossil watch uh, to a subscriber. Again, you need to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. You need to be on Facebook, Instagram uh, to and follow me on those platforms as well as the inland uh, pages and I'll make sure that I put the same links up on this uh, this video here so make sure you're subscribing and following and then you will be entered to win and I'll pick a random uh, individual to win this watch worth uh, I think it's worth a couple hundred bucks anyways two or three hundred bucks so there we have it um, what else can I tell you guys oh yeah if you want to go to my uh, website thekenworthguy.com you will see all of the social media platforms that I'm listed on. If you want to get in touch with me, that's a really great way to, uh, to find me there. So, hey, a big thank you to all of the people that were involved on this project. Uh, our shop here at Winnipeg, uh, Straight Ahead Ventures, Denray Tire, JNF Cleaners, and Shift Products. And of course, a huge thank you to Kim and Larry, uh, Greg and Jonathan and David and all the staff at Jade Transport for purchasing this beautiful hot rod. Uh, so pumped uh, to get this truck to you guys. So thanks so much for watching everybody. Have yourself the world's best day.